Morning. It's Janine. Oh, let me get myself situated. Oh, it's chilly in here. Get my feet up. Woo! It's been a long time. Alright. Got my coffee. Oh. I'm hurting. My back is hurting today. So please excuse me. Okay. So today is Monday. December 4th, 2016. Woo -hoo. And I haven't made an update video since what? Like fucking November? I don't even know. It's been crazy. December was an insanity month. December was pure fucking insanity. So, let me give you the rundown of my December. Let me give you the rundown of my life lately. So, I have had no spare time. None. No me time. None. Every opportunity I get for me time, which is like a weekend, because during the week I have a doctor, I'm sorry, I've got something in my eyeball. Um, during the week it's doctor appointment, doctor appointment, doctor appointment, and I'll go into that in a second. But on weekends I used to see my boyfriend Justin every other weekend and then the weekends I didn't see him I had me time and I usually do a video that weekend well it don't happen like that no more I get him and his kids his kids don't get me wrong don't get me wrong his kids are phenomenal. They really are. They're great. They're great. They're good kids. They're really good kids. They're sweet. They're polite. They're wonderful. But they are the most rambunctious, overly energetic, attention-seeking children I have ever come into contact with. Now, I have four fake nieces and one fake nephew. His kids top the cake. Holy shit. Every two seconds is dad, 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 daddy, dad, dada, dad, dad, daddy. And they're 14 and 10. Holy shit. Those kids, man. They don't stop. They are needy sons of bitches. So they're here every weekend from like Friday until Sunday. And I'm playing, you know, Holly Homemaker to him and his two kids on that weekend. And on Monday, it's like, oh, Jesus, I need a vacation. But I can't have a vacation because I've got doctor appointments up the wazoo. And hello, I need to see my own parents out on Long Island. So I've got to take a trip out there sometime during the week. Need a vacation, which is coming up. Um, I'm getting my vacay soon. Can't wait. So, so that was all of December. And uh, Christmas we had here. Uh, I did Christmas. The kids were here. His daughter, huh? Poor thing. She had bronchitis or something like that. She was running a 104.4 fever when she was here on the couch. And uh, we were 30 minutes from taking her to the emergency room. I gave her Advil to try to lower her fever. And I was going to give her 30 minutes to lower her fever. If her fever didn't go down in 30 minutes, we were off to Staten Island University Hospital. 
Luckily, knock on wood, her fever came down and she was okay. So, they're just, I was not made to be a mother, a full-time mother. I'm made to be a stepmom. I can do stepmom. Part-time. I can do the part-time thing. And I rock as an aunt. Full-time? No, thank you. No, thank you. I'll pass. Not for me. Not for me. So, doctors. Me. What's going on with me? Uh, I need to go to the damn dentist. I have a toothache. That's coming tomorrow. Um, urology bullshit. Um, I got a colon reschedule. My urology shit is a fucking headache and a half. There's something wrong with my kidney stones. I gotta get so many tests done. It's ridiculous. And I just don't get the tests done. Because I've had enough. I'm done going to doctors. It's it's a fucking chore. You know, when when you go today alone I was supposed to go to three three doctors. I was supposed to go to three doctors today. The dentist, the hematologist, and my pain management doctor in one day. And then I go to two tomorrow, and then I go to one on Wednesday. Five days in a week, kiddos, and I'm going to five doctors. You know, I'm only one person. There's only so much I can handle. You get sick of it. You know? You just, you get tired of it. You really get tired of it. And $50 a copayment, because these are all specialists. You know? Now, now we're talking about $250 out of my pocket for specialists. It's a lot of money. You have enough. There's, there's a time where you just got to put your feet in the ground and say, I'm done. Well, I hit that point. And I just stopped going. So I haven't had my tests done for, hemato for urology. I got to do that because I got kidney stones up the wazoo. Um, which is the side effect of the DS because of the protein we have to eat. Um, my girly parts, I finally found a good OBGYN. My hysterectomy, um, gentlemen, if you're watching this, I'm going to be saying some language you might have no idea what I'm saying. So, feel free to go get yourself a snack. Uh, I have a DNC scheduled for February, excuse me, for March 4th. And my hysterectomy is scheduled for March 31st. So, those are scheduled. As of April 1st, my tubes will be tied. I will be a happy lady. No more periods for me. Because my bleeding is out of control. I don't want to gross anybody out, but you know me. I'm a straight from the hip shooter. When the blood runs down your leg, You don't want to play anymore. You're done. It's that bad, kiddos. It's that bad. Um. So, I'm done. Tubes are tied. Uh. And. Also. Um. To have them even touch me. My iron level has to be at a 10. Right now my iron is at like a 3. It's so bad. 
My iron is so freaking bad. I mean, I don't know how I'm still walking. I'm serious. I don't know how I'm still surviving. I'm going to see the hematologist today to get me back on iron infusions. Because I need them. So I'm going to be on iron infusions galore. Um, I need to be at a 10. So, um, so that's a project. And, uh, so right now my priority is the hematologist to get my iron up, the gynecologist to get my junk fixed, and, um, the kidney stones. I'll manage, you know? I'll get the tests done when I get them done. That's priority number two. I'm not in the mood. I'll get them done, but it's not a priority right now. Um, and I have to go to the dentist. So, yeah. There you go. Um, I felt very inadequate over the holidays. Um, I didn't make as many cookies as I wanted to make. I had only made four cookies out of the ten I wanted to make. I felt very inadequate. And um, I cried a lot. I actually had a terrible Christmas, to be honest with you. I had a terrible Christmas. Um, it was good. Because I knew I was loved by my sissy and my family, but it was a bad Christmas. It was a bad Christmas. I was stressed out. I was behind schedule. I made it a bigger project than it needed to be, um, mentally, mentally. Um, I made myself feel inadequate. I disappointed myself. I set up walls of expectations that did not get met. Um, sorry, I hear. I think the UPS truck, I think I'm getting a present. If you hear a buzz, that'll be the UPS man. Um, it was just not a good Christmas and I cried a lot. And it took me about two days to get over, to be honest with you. It took, it took me two days to get over Christmas. I was on the phone with Kelly a lot. Um, Kelly grew dot three 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 on YouTube and um, crying, just crying. It was rough. I had expectations. of, I mean, it's Christmas, you know, and I'm Italian, and Christmas is, Christmas is our new year, you know, Christmas is our holiday, it's the big one, you know, nothing, nothing beats Christmas in Italian culture, nothing. You know? Shit, even the colors of Christmas. Red, white, and green. You know? Do it backwards is green, white, and red. That's the Italian flag. <laughs> you know? Christmas is our holiday. I had expectations. For everything. 
I had expectations of presents I was going to receive, of reactions I was going to get, of cooperation I was going to receive from my parents. But they just kept throwing at me, you should have came here. And I know they were just saying it in jest, but I didn't need it. I didn't need to hear it. I had a hard Christmas. It was hard. It took me like two days to get over. I was crying on the phone with my mom. And while I'm crying, this is a pisser. While I'm crying on the phone with my mom, my dad's in the background. She should have came here. Thanks, Daddy. It's <laughs> typical Daddy. I don't think he wanted us to come here with a 10-year-old who had a 104.4 fever. I think he uh, would have appreciated it if I stayed here. It was just hard. But New Year's was great. <sighs> New Year's, I went to a restaurant called Bayou, which is Creole and Cajun food on Staten Island. And they had like a little celebration y thing uh, for New Year's. That was great. Went with Justin. And uh, it was wonderful. It's really good food. It was wonderful. And then New Year's Day, I made a rib roast, a um, beef rib roast that was huge. The rib roast was six pounds. Uh, it's huge. I made that for us. Because New Year's Day, we always celebrate in my house. So, that was wonderful. Um, so... I don't really have resolutions this year, except that I'm going to try to stop picking on myself, try to stop feeling inadequate, and holy shit is that a big one. <laughs> I have felt inadequate since I was little. You feel inadequate for 36 years. Trying to break that habit is pretty rough, you know? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to... Try to stop feeling inadequate. Try to build up my confidence. I'm gonna attempt that. And I'm gonna go to therapy. I found a therapist. I saw her once. Didn't get to see her again because of the holidays, because the days we go were both holidays. It was Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve for the second and third time. So I got a call today and make an appointment with her to see her this week. So, yeah, those are my resolutions. I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas. I certainly hope it was better than mine. <laughs> and I hope your New Year's was phenomenal. I hope 2016, I can't wish you more of the best, most amazing 2016s. I could possibly wish you and I hope you guys are healthy and happy and I hope you get everything that you want to get out of 2016 and I'm really sorry that it took me this long to make a video I've just really not had spare time the only reason why I have time right now is because I slept through my dentist appointment this morning <laughs> so 
That's the only reason why I'm in the house right now. Otherwise, I'd be in a dentist chair. So. Alright. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.